Hey friends, it's Tyler from ActiveBeat, and today we're talking about fiddleheads. You may not have heard of this rather peculiar case of leafy greens, but they are a nutritious little secret that I want to share with you. This video topic was actually suggested by Mike Robinson quite a ways back. Thanks Mike, much appreciated. So what's a fiddlehead? These funny looking vegetables are actually the furled fronds of a young fern plant. Yes, just like you'd find in a forest. Before the young fern uncurls and reaches full height, it's harvested by cutting it from the ground and then eaten as a leafy green vegetable rich in nutrients. Despite fiddleheads being widely available and used in several cooking cultures, they are actually not a cultivated vegetable, meaning these plants grow in the wild. In North America, harvesting time is early spring, when individuals set out to find these plants and pick carefully, making sure not to overharvest, which can kill the plant. Let's talk vitamins and minerals. One of the great benefits of fiddleheads is their amazing vitamin content. These spring delicacies are low in calories but rich in vitamins including antioxidants, vitamin A, vitamin C, niacin, and riboflavin. A 100 gram serving of these powerful little greens contains 120% of your daily recommended intake of vitamin A and 44% of recommended vitamin C. Not only that, but they also have an abundance of minerals like potassium, phosphorus, iron, and magnesium. Fiddleheads are also very low in sodium, so they're perfect for anyone who's trying to stick to a low sodium diet. On top of that, fiddleheads are a great source of omega-3s and omega-6. These polyunsaturated fats help with healthy cell growth and protect against heart disease and stroke. Let's talk about preparation. Fiddleheads should always be cooked before eating. To do this, first remove any papery brown scales from the outside of the plant with a brush or cloth. Like sprouts, fiddleheads contain microbes, so it's important to wash them thoroughly in cold water to get rid of bacteria. The most common ways to cook fiddleheads are to boil in salted water or steam the ferns for a few minutes until tender. In terms of taste, fiddleheads have a delicate sweetness and crunch, and while they have a texture all to their own, some compare them to asparagus or crisp green beans. Now before you adventure outside to find some fiddleheads, we should talk a little bit about safety. First off, not all types of fiddlehead ferns that you find in the forest are safe for us to eat. Ostrich ferns are the best kind for consumption and are free from potential toxins. The bracken fern variety is thought to contain a carcinogenic toxin so it's best to leave the harvesting to the experts and buy your fiddleheads from the local grocer or farmer's market. Unlike many greens that can be eaten raw, fiddleheads should always be cooked before consumption to remove bitterness, reduce tannins, and kill bacteria and possible toxins. So, are you a fiddlehead fiend? Add your thoughts in the comments and let us know. We want to hear it. If you haven't joined the Active Beat team yet, don't forget to subscribe, share, and check out our related videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time.